Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Physics with Rishikesh. Today we will discuss about an important topic, why the sounds of an open organ pipe are more melodious than the sounds of a closed organ pipe. So let us start. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe my channel. Let's start. First, we will discuss about the vibration of air column in a closed pipe. Vibration of air column in a closed organ pipe. In a closed organ pipe, we know one end is closed and the other end is open. The figure is something like that. This point, this is node and this is anti-node. We know the distance between two consecutive nodes is lambda by 2 and that between two consecutive antinodes is also lambda by 2. So the distance between a node and an antinode is lambda by 4. Okay. Now this lambda by 4 length will be equal to the total length of the closed organ pipe that is L. From here we can write lambda equal to 4 L. And of course, we know the velocity of sound is given by V equal to N lambda, where N is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength. Then from this we can write N equal to V by lambda, but lambda is actually equal to 4L. Therefore, N is equal to V by 4L. This frequency is called the first harmonic. In second case, or second mode. The diagram is like that. Something like that. Okay. This is note, this is note, this is anti note, and this is anti note. Okay. We know the distance between two nodes two consecutive nodes is lambda by 2 and that between a node and an antinode is lambda by 4. Therefore, if we write this lambda as lambda 1, then we can write lambda 1 by 4 plus lambda 1 by 2 that is 3 lambda 1 by 4. This must be equal to the length of the closed organ pipe L or lambda 1 is equal to 4L by 3. Again, we know that V equal to N lambda and N equal to V by lambda. Then what is the value of N1? N1 is equal to V by lambda 1 or 3V by 4L that is 3N. N1 equal to 3N. Okay. Since what is the value of n? The value of n is v by 4l. This gives us the value of n that is n1 equal to 3n. This frequency n1 is called the third harmonic or first overtone. This frequency is known as third harmonic or first overtone ok third mode this is my closed organ pipe the figure is something like that you know the actual figure ok now calculate the length this length is lambda 2 by 4 this length 
is lambda 2 by 2 because this is node and this is node again this length is lambda 2 by 2 then what will be the total length the total length will be lambda 2 by 4 plus lambda 2 by 2 plus lambda 2 by 2 that is 5 lambda 2 by 4 this must be equal to, to the closed organ pipe length of the closed organ pipe that is L or we can write from here lambda 2 equal to 4 L by 5 again V equal to N lambda N equal to V by lambda we write here N2 equal to V by lambda 2 or 5 V by 4L but V by 4L gives you N that is N2 equal to 5 N so you can see that in a closed organ pipe only the odd harmonics are present proceeding in the same way we can write for nth mode for nth mode n n equal to v by lambda n equal to 2n minus 1 into n 2n minus 1 into n this frequency is called the 2n minus 1th harmonic or n minus 1th overtone so from this derivation we can write that n is to n1 is to n2 equal to 1 is to 3 is to 5 so we can see that in a closed organ pipe only the odd harmonics are present now let us see what happens in case of an open organ pipe vibration in of air column in an open organ pipe what is the example of an open organ pipe the example you can say is fruit and for example of an of a closed organ pipe is saxophone now in an open organ pipe both ends are open for the fundamental mode or first mode the diagram is like this and this length is lambda by 4 and this length is lambda by 4 because this is an antinode this is node and this is also an antinode then the total length is lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4 that is lambda by 2 which is equal to L where L is the length of the open organ pipe or lambda equal to twice L now we know the speed of sound in air is V equal to N lambda where N is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength then N equal to V by lambda but actually lambda equal to twice L then N equal to V by twice L this frequency is called the first harmonic for the second mode the total distance is lambda 1 by 4 plus lambda 1 by 2 plus lambda 1 by 4 that is lambda 1 equal to L or n1 equal to v by lambda 1 or n1 equal to v by L now multiply the numerator and denominator with 2 we can write 2v by twice L now comparing with this equation we can write n1 equal to 2 into n where n is v by twice l this frequency is called second harmonic or first overtone second harmonic or first overtone in case of third mode we have to calculate the length as usual this is lambda 2 by 4 this is lambda 2 by 2 this is lambda 2 by 2 this length should be equal and this is lambda 2 by 4 then the total length is 3 into lambda 2 by 2 
दिस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू एल और लैमडा टू इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री इंटू एल ना वी नो द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज गिवेन बाई एन टू इक्वल टू भी बाई लैमडा टू और थ्री भी बाई ट्वाइस एल और वी कैन राइट थ्री एन और एन टू इक्वल टू थ्री एन नाउ वी कैन सी फ्रॉम हेयर फॉर पी एथ मोड द फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी एन पी इक्वल टू भी बाई लैमडा पी हुई विल बी गिवेन बाई पी इन टू एन दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नोन एज एन एथ हारमोनिक और एन माइनस वन एथ ओवर टोन Now we can see that in case of open organ pipe, both odd and even harmonics are present. Hence, the sound emitted from an open organ pipe is more melodious than that of a closed organ pipe. Okay, if you submerge an open organ pipe into water, it will behave like a closed organ pipe. suppose this is your open organ pipe of length capital l but you have put it into water so it will be like a closed organ pipe of length l by 2 this is the water and this length is l by 2 and this length is also l by 2 okay now what will be the frequency the frequency will be i am writing the frequency with new c equal to new divided by 4 into length the length is actually l by 2 that is new by twice l this is the fundamental frequency of an open organ pipe that is we can write it as new o that is the frequency will remain unchanged if you submerge an open organ pipe into water the frequency of it will remain unchanged now let us see the end correction what is end correction actually the anti node at the open end in both case of closed organ pipe and open organ pipe are not situated at exactly at the open end but a little outside this is known as the end correction in case of closed organ pipe the anti node is exactly at this position this is my node if the length of the pipe is l the end correction is written as e where e is 0.6r this is the case of closed organ pipe but what will be the case for open organ pipe for open organ pipe it is both ends are open so this length is capital l and we have to calculate the end correction this is my closed organ pipe of length l l is replaced by l is replaced by l plus e while for open organ pipe this is my open organ pipe for open organ pipe the length is replaced by l plus twice e where e is 0.6r where where r is the radius of the pipe okay now due to the end correction the fundamental frequency of a closed organ pipe is given by nc equal to n divided by 4 into l but we have to replace l by l plus e then n is equal to n divided by 4 into l plus e or 
n divided by 4 into l plus 0.6 r and due to the n correction the fundamental frequency of an open organ pipe is n o is given by n divided by 2 into l but we have to replace l by l plus twice e then n o equal to n divided by 2 into l plus twice e that is n divided by 2 into l plus 1.2 r again i repeat where r is the radius of the pipe thank you for watching this video if you like please hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you